and this suit is uh, my favorite suit and um, I have a matching lining Uh, my father actually sold this to an NBA coach and he liked it so much that he ended up buying several of them. We are a high-end custom clothing uh, retailer in Chicago. And my father actually started just doing trunk shows and going directly to clients. So he would go and take a client's measurements in their home or office or he would set up shop somewhere. So we never had a hard location before and I joined the business in 2002 and that's when we first opened our showroom and started this concept. He always came up with the unique ideas. and. Um... I said, give it a try. So these are working buttonholes, and I always thought custom clothing was just the best way to shop, but a lot of people didn't know about it or didn't shop that way simply because I, I think they thought the process was intimidating or stodgy, and um, I wanted to change that. One of the first things I did was change the name of our company to our last name. For 45 years, I had Midos Custom Tailor. The name Midos came from my village, so it was little hard for me to give it away. He says, okay, the first hundred customers come, we'll ask them what they like to my shop. Hundred percent people wanted to be called Balani Custom Tailor. So from that day on, I appreciate the changes he's making. Hey, John, how you doing? Great to see you. Um, well, we're up 80% year over year from last year, so it's been a really significant increase. So many of our clients just embrace the fact that you know, to my father especially, they were just ecstatic that I was joining the business and that tradition was going to be carried on. My father's clientele was getting a little bit older and um, I, I felt like we, the, the biggest challenge for us is I really needed to reinvent our clientele. Um, so I wanted to do something more or less the way I would shop. So, you know, I like to go out to eat and I like to travel and I like to go to nice restaurants. So I tried to incorporate some of those things that I thought were best practices within different industries into our industry. Great, well can I offer you something to drink? Yeah. I would say that the uh, experience that the client has now is dramatically different than what the client had previously. But what we do is really try and work and find our own client's individual style and bring that out and let them express themselves. I know you work in the restaurant industry, so I'm imagining you still want something durable, is that correct? Yeah. So typically what happens is we have a client who walks in, we give them a little bit of a brief explanation of our history, and then we really start to go behind the fabric bar, get to know the client, understand what their needs are. From there we go over to um, a measuring platform where we take all the measurements and we incorporate our Apple technology in there, and we put that into one of our proprietary databases which captures all measurement history, styling hi history, um, all your demographic information, which we use to um, further build on your wardrobe in the future. And from there we build on the, the styling of the actual piece. So, you know, you can do different details, such as, you know, different um, buttonholes, lapels, collar styles. Anything you want to change, we can change. We can do a purple pick label stitching. Um, so from here I expect to fine-tune the location we have here and then continue to open more and more locations across the country.